Mike, what, what kind of pitches, the basic pitches, uh, do you mind showing us how you teach that to, to younger guys and even guys in your program? I think the biggest thing with us with, with fastball is, you know, really we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. What grip do you feel most comfortable with that, that you can command, uh, you know, pitch in and pitch out? So it's really, you know, we're looking at a four seam or a two seam grip. Uh, for us, it, some guys can actually, believe it or not, get a little bit more movement on their four seam for us. Some guys that feel more comfortable with the two seam grip, whatever they feel is is most effective for them to be able to command a pitch down the zone. So we're pretty flexible with the fastball grip, uh, but those are the two most common areas. Uh, in terms of the uh, breaking ball, you know, a lot of guys for us we like to use you know basic slider grip. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take that middle finger, we'll wrap it on the right side of the horseshoe, and we'll really use you know, the inside part of that middle finger and try and work off of that, work off of that seam. We'll just try and preset our wrist and try and work off of the wrist manipulation, just try and really throw it with fastball mindset. And when you do that, you're usually gonna get that tight action on the slider that you're looking for. For a changeup, and I've gone back and forth with this a lot over the years, but you know, some guys like the circuit change for me, and I actually stole this from the pitching coach at Monmouth, so I gotta give him a plug here, but Almost like a pitchfork, all right? You yeah. Make, you make your hand, you grip with five fingers, and you're just working to have your two, your pointer finger and your ring finger working right along the seams of the horseshoe. You almost have that middle finger by itself, and that really is not doing much work. But if you take your pointer finger, your ring finger, and you work those right along the seams, and you have your thumb and your pinky below, evening out, bouncing out the ball in your hand. And if you can go up there and throw with a fastball mindset once again and practice this during your during your catch play, during your throwing, it's a pitch that for us, for our guys, has been the most effective because that's what they felt most comfortable with. Change up as a field pitch, it's gonna be a little different for everybody, but this is the pitch that has been most successful for us over, over the last couple of years. Cool, thanks a lot for your time, man. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God.